Hi everyone, I'm on my big road trip going from Florida all the way back to Iowa and I'm in the Atlanta, Georgia area and overnight I had version 12 FSD beta pushed to my car. So of course I installed it. So we're going to be taking our first drive with FSD beta out of Atlanta. I don't know if that's a good idea, but come along for the ride. All right, just engaged FSD version 12, first drive, trying to get out of Atlanta. Atlanta area and our first test here will be this right hand turn. The visuals, the visuals look, a look a little different to me. I don't know why, don't know why they're but maybe they're a little crisper. crisper. Hard, to say. Hard to say. Right hand turn, green light. That's nice and smooth, although right hand turns have been pretty good for a while. This is a kind of a slightly narrower road. There doesn't seem to be any hesitation from oncoming traffic. There's also a new setting in this version where you select a box that basically allows the car to pick a speed that it thinks is best for the road and the conditions. And right now it's set to auto and right now it's driving me 44 miles an hour even though the speed limit is 35. Before, on that hill before, it was driving exactly the speed limit. So it's supposed to do this to help kind of keep up with traffic and be more aware of its surroundings. We're gonna see how well that works. We're coming up to another right-hand turn here with a light. Looks like we're gonna get stopped here. Oh, we have an arrow. I didn't even notice that. I was too busy watching the car stop. I didn't realize we had a green arrow, and it went. All right, there we go. That was actually pretty smooth, too. Again, auto speed. Decided that this road is best at 44 miles an hour, 10% over. That should be interesting. <laughs> Sorry, officer. I didn't pick the speed. The car picked the speed. Give the ticket to Tesla. <laughs> think that'll work? I don't think so. I can tell right now it's smoother. The steering wheel with the previous version would jerk a little bit from time to time. I'm not feeling any of that jerkiness. Still stopping harder than it probably should. Kind of making our first left-hand turn up here after we get through this stopped light. For those of you interested, we are actually in a, I think, an eastern suburb of Atlanta called Auburn, and we're making our way 76 miles to our next and first supercharger on this big leg back, which will be Adairsville. Yes, Adairsville, Georgia, and uh, we have one more stop after that before um, getting to our hotel, which is going to be outside the Nashville area. All right, we have a test here. We have a left-hand turn. I had hit the brakes, people. It was coming in hard, and it didn't want to stop. It probably would have stopped, but... I had to hit the brakes. Re-engaging. We'll call that a half a disengagement. Maybe a full. Probably a full. Full? Yeah. So those of you not familiar with version 12, and part of this is my wife sitting next to me. She doesn't know about the full version 12. But according to Elon Musk, Tesla deleted over 300,000 lines of code telling that would normally tell the car Here's what a stoplight is. Here's what a roundabout is. Here's what you do when it's yellow or green. Apparently, they've eliminated most of that code and they've completely replaced it with an AI-based neural network that's been trained by all the millions and millions of miles that have been recorded by Teslas throughout the country. And they've trained this neural network and apparently it's kind of learns like a human being learns, which is observing. He says it doesn't teach 
car what a person is and that you should avoid it. It doesn't teach them what a stop sign is. There's no code in there that says, here's a stop sign. There's no code in there that says, here's a speed bump, you should slow down. It has just kind of, based on all of this training, figured it out. Um, is it ready? Who knows, but we're here to see it firsthand. We have a left-hand turn here. We do have a green arrow. I have to admit, that was super smooth. That's maybe even better than I could do. Okay, we're on this road for a little while. Got into the slow lane by itself. What the heck? It never does that. Good job. Good job, Tesla. Okay, we have a split in the road. Oftentimes, version 11 would want to jump into this side road here. Stayed rock solid in the lane we were in, just like it should have. This automatic speed adjust is kind of interesting. Um, it does definitely feel like we're keeping up with traffic. We're not the fastest ones on the road, but uh, we are doing eight over the speed limit, which if we were doing the speed limit, we'd be getting past probably in almost an unsafe way. So, so far this auto speed adjust thing seems to be pretty cool and pretty effective. The Naga feels about the same as far as the frequency in which I need to put torque on the wheel. The car is driving. You can tell by the blue line here that it is driving by itself. I am keeping my hands near the wheel for safety reasons and that's the way Tesla wants you to do it because you just saw early on, I'm not trying to filter this at all, but I had to step on the brakes because it felt like it was going to run into the back of a car. But other than that, press so far, although we really haven't challenged it a great deal at the moment. Okay did get over into the far right lane, which is technically the slow lane, although we're going to be turning left in 2.7 miles. We are coming up to a stoplight. Should be starting to slow down. Do you have a green light? It is slowing down a little bit to match traffic. Okay, brought it right down to the speed limit. Before it was doing 50, 51. Now it's decided that right at the speed limit is the right speed to be, and I would agree with that. We've got a couple more stoplights to go through before the left-hand turn. I would expect it to start making its way over to the left side eventually. Looks like we've got a Fisker up here in front of us to the left. Maybe you can see that on camera. Um, Brand new, temporary tags. Hope that company lasts long enough that they can keep their car running. A little hesitant, traffic's starting to get a little worse. The past is kind of freaked out by these cars kind of laying in wait on the side. So far it's doing okay. I also note that there are motorcycles in front of us, and previous versions of FSD have gone haywire around motorcycles, at least for us. So far, it's either fine or we're far enough away from them, it doesn't matter. Probably far enough away. We're going to be turning left up here at 0.8 miles. We're still in the right lane. It would appear that it's going to wait until after we get past this light. I suppose that's okay. Major slowdown, why are we slowing down? Not sure. Motorcycles. Motorcycles, probably. <laughs> All right, we gotta make our way over here to the left lane here. I don't know where it thinks it's gonna get over. Speeding up. And it's decided to sneak in between this Range Rover and this Honda. It's kind of funny. I'll have to go back and review the tape, but when it was moving, the 
blind spot detector was red saying you got somebody in your blind spot so it hopefully, hopefully knew what it was doing it's decided to take the outside turn lane that's new usually always takes the turn lane that is furthest to the left here you got a better shot of that Fisker Ocean where uh, I think that's the car that uh, Marquez Brownlee re reviewed and said is the worst car he's ever reviewed probably why they're about ready to go bankrupt it's got weird solar panels on the top sounds cooler than it actually is I do kind of dig the look of it though and that color matte actually looks pretty good okay left hand turn followed by some in-town driving here so we're going to be making our way kind of around the Atlanta area that was pretty darn good actually taking a right hand turn here yeah followed by an immediate left at the stoplight, which is a all-way four-way. It's doing a good job with the signaling. Came to a complete stop, but didn't sit around and wait very long, which previous versions would tend to do. That was pretty good. Actually accelerated out of that turn pretty hard to get up to speed. taking this right probably following this car in front of us no nope, but it's going to take the right anyway did that at a good speed another always stop all very natural so far full stop go About the right, ooh, motorcycle, didn't freak out. More of a trike, does that count? So I'm gonna try and show you as much as I can on this drive, but I've obviously don't wanna bore you while you're watching this video. So you may see some breaks in this video, but rest assured, I'm not doing it to hide anything negative. In fact, if there is anything negative, you will be sure to see it. Now we've got some construction here. As I was just saying, I was about ready to take a pause, but let's see how it handles the construction with no markings. Perfect. But uh, there may be breaks in this video where, again, nothing happened, which means the car drove. It did its thing. And uh, we have nine miles before we have our next turn here. And uh, it's likely to be uneventful like it has been up to this point, but if there is something eventful, you will see it. Some 30 mile twisty turny roads here, so see how it handles it. Oh, it's a speed bump. Holy cow, it slowed way down. I don't know if it slowed down mostly because of the car, but it definitely slowed down more because of the speed bump. Okay, another speed bump. Speeding up. That definitely slowed down for the speed bump. Okay, speed bumps it slows down for. Look at that. That was about the right speed, too. Tell you what, this is a really pretty drive for a first FSD beta drive. I mean, look at that. Again, FSD is really nice as a driver because yes, you gotta pay attention, but you don't have to pay strict attention to holding the lane. You can actually kind of look around a little bit more, which is kind of the whole point of using it. A sharp right-hand turn. That was fine. It's kind of crazy. We are legitimately 20 miles into this drive, and with the exception of that one break where I thought I was going to hit the back of a car, and it may have, um, 
the car has driven 100% of the time. Not a single breakout, not a manual breakout because it looks like it's a tricky situation um, or it's doing something a little weird or it's jumping a line or it's jumping a lane, which was pretty frequent in FSD 11. But legitimately, the last 20 miles, other than that one break, the car has been doing its thing. This thing has driven us here. Full self-driving is happening right now. Obviously, it's got to be monitored because there's no guarantee it's always going to do the right thing. But so far, it has. It's crazy. All right, we have some road work being done in what's clearly a center turn lane, maybe? But uh, it's doing a pretty good job of picking up the fact that it is a yellow and we can't be crossing it. It is visualizing the motorcycle behind us. So once through this stoplight, we're going to be making a left-hand turn. See if it understands that this is actually a left-hand turn lane up here. Well, it was going to get over, and then it decided, oh, I don't need to. Let's make sure that it stays in the far lane. It did. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll say good job with that one. Um, that's definitely a change. Um, previous versions of FSD really wanted to take the leftmost turn lane as far over and then take the, the leftmost uh, lane as well. Um, and it knows that we're gonna be maybe making a slight right-hand turn up here, but it decided, hey, I'm gonna take the right left-hand turn lane, I'm going to slide over to the right as it should, which is what I would have done if I was driving manually. All right, we're about 25 miles in to this drive, and I'm going to ask for the wife test. She's been quiet, will probably remain quiet through this video, but if I can get a thumbs up in camera, or a thumbs down, or a thumbs middle on how FSD is doing right now, how would you rate it? All right, Th thumbs up. That that's actually high praise. That's that's very high praise. Um, so there you go. It is uh, it is thumbs up so far, but she does reserve the right to change her mind at any moment in the future when it does something dumb. So far, it hasn't done anything significantly dumb, well, except for that that stop. Yeah which it may have stopped. All right, since we checked in last, it's been about 15 miles and it's been very uneventful. We've had things like this where there's been construction and stops and weird cross traffic and the car has just performed. Haven't broken out once uh, since that last pause in the video. So everything that you didn't see didn't need to see. It was just boring driving because the car has done the right thing. But now we've got some construction going on. We actually should be on the other side of the road, so the map's a little off. We'll be able to handle this very well. So far, it's doing okay. The construction is one area that FSD has really struggled with. It just doesn't seem to handle it very well, in my opinion. And for that level of construction, it handled it perfectly. Okay. Yellow light. Decided to stop. Stopped way too hard. Way too hard. And then it decided it wanted to inch up a hot sec and then stop too hard. Technically no disengagement, but that was that was a rough stop. All right, green light, we're moving again. We have a right-hand turn coming up in 1.3 miles. It appears to be a clover leaf onto an interstate, so we'll be able to see how FSD works on interstate traffic in the Atlanta area. That should be fun. I'm getting the no side from the wife, so 
Uh, I'll break out if I have to. I'm not going to force it. We did just get into the middle lane. Not exactly sure. Maybe it knows something that I don't. This is a road I've never been on before. We're making our way back to Iowa. So this is all new for me and the car. Point 0.7 miles we have to get over. Should be thinking about working its way over to the right-hand side. Model, another Model Y just immediately to the front right of us. Do still have a half a mile to figure it out. Low traffic. Okay, so I don't know if it saw the massive amount of backed up traffic in front of us and said, I'm gonna get over now, because it's usually sooner than it would get over, but it, get, it got over. And we're in the correct lane now. Maybe it had a friend. It wanted to be next to the other Tesla. I mean, I can't blame it. All right, we're getting ready to get on, oh, okay, I-575. Oh, actually this is a turn only lane. So it needed to get over, figured it out. Figured it out before I did. <laughs> Getting the look for my wife. What do you mean he figured it out before you did? Well, when I'm not recording, I don't say a lot of these things out loud. <laughs> All right, we're getting on our interstate on-ramp here. I will take over if I need to. Speed limit's 40, although it's got us going 48 because it feels that's a better speed. 50, I think it's anticipating us entering the highway, which I frankly would do. Okay, we've got some police coming on here. I'm gonna break out just because I don't want to get pulled over. I mean, it probably would have handled that, but I really don't want to get a ticket. So I'm not going to count that as a disengagement. I'm going to do that as me being cheap and not wanting a ticket. Plus, I don't want it on my record. So re-engaged. We're all good to go. We're back on the highway. So first time FSD beta version 12.3 on the interstate. I will turn on minimum lane changes because, yeah, actually I'm going to turn it off. I normally put on minimum lane changes because it makes a lot of dumb decisions as far as what lane to be in. And I guess I can't really test it if I turn that on. So that was almost a, my own internal autopilot kicking in. Um, but I'll leave that turned off and uh, we'll see if it doesn't make dumb decisions. Should be getting off here to go to Canton. Stay in this lane. That was good. All right, it's anticipating our left turn coming up up here, so got over. That was our quick jaunt on the interstate. Apparently, that's all that was to it for at least this go. See, it does not visualize that trailer at all with that pickup truck, but it seems to be holding space. All right, we have a left-hand turn with an arrow. Fair amount of traffic. Nice and smooth, good speed. Good acceleration out of the turn. And getting over into the slow lane. Welcome back. Just like the last break of the video, absolutely uneventful. Just dealing with traffic, at the had zero interventions um, during that break. In fact, there's been zero 
tactical interventions except that one stop and I guess the second one which was my doing which was to get around those police officers without causing a stir. But what we have coming up right now is we've got uh, an on-ramp to the I-75 North but it seems to be kind of weird. I can't quite tell what it looks like yet but it is a very sharp right hand turn. There might be a light, not real sure. We're going to find out. This looks like a hard right hand turn onto an on ramp with a light. So, should be okay. And hopefully, we're north of most of the Atlanta traffic. Fingers crossed. There we go. Slowing down. Getting into the turn lane, all good, very smooth. Appropriate speed, maybe a little slow, but that's okay for where we're at. Now we're gonna be merging onto highway speed traffic. Let's see if we can pick up the pace here. Good acceleration. Just short of the speed limit. Traffic's pretty light, so it shouldn't have a problem. Will it wait till the end before merging like it always does? The answer appears to be yes. So, all right, we're back on the interstate. FSD beta version 12.4.3.3.12.3 on the interstate. Again, we're set to, oh, we're on the interstate. The auto speed did not auto set. Though it does think the speed limit's 40 right now, which I don't believe to be the case. Ah, there's a sign that said minimum 40, and it picked that up as the speed limit. So, interesting. Neural network is a little off on that one. But given that I am running FSD, it doesn't limit me to five mile an hour over um, the posted speed limit like normal autopilot does. So I can adjust the speed to whatever I want. We're back up to 70 now, and I'm gonna set it to what we typically do, which is about seven over, five, six, seven over, um, to keep up with traffic in a safe manner. Um, so here we are. We do not have minimal lane changes turned on. I do have my autopilot settings for change set to assertive. And we have about 13 miles before we have to get off the interstate to end at our supercharger so check in when anything eventful happens okay we have about one mile before we have to get off at uh, this exit 306 to go to the supercharger in Adairsville Georgia sometimes when the car using FSD gets off of exits it's kind of like someone stepping on an escalator for the first time they get it done but it isn't very graceful Let's see if this is, has any improvement over the previous version. First thing it's going to have to do is it's going to have to get over. Okay, now it's getting over. It is slowing down. Don't like this. I just didn't like it either. Shot past me, but the exit was smoother making a left hand turn. Which left hand is it gonna pick? It's picking the left hand, left hand turn. Wasn't sure about that. But it's gonna have to turn right here pretty quickly, so I think it made the wrong choice. Unless it knows something I didn't, but could be that we're okay because there's this big tanker truck here that's likely not going to go very fast. And we are easily able to get in front of that taker truck. So let's see how far, how close to the supercharger it will actually get us. Come on. A little hesitant. Turning left, superchargers are down there. I can see them. 
So what's it going to do? Now your is on the <laughs> just decided we were there and it was trying to pull over into the Burger King because it wants to BK your way. But anyway, we're going to manually park. Wouldn't it be so cool if this thing actually came up to the supercharger and backed in by itself? Well, we're not quite there yet. So I guess I get to I get to complain that I have to drive manually for the last 100 feet. All right, there you go. FSD beta 12.3 in town, highway, interstate, 81 miles that trip, two hours. And I only had to break out one time for safety and it broke out two times total just to get around some police officers it probably would have done the right thing but i chose to do that but for the last two hours this thing did everything all by itself except that last 100 feet so before i give you my thoughts i'm going to give a quick wife thumbs up thumbs down last two hours how well did it do can't see your hands okay it's a it's a so-so to a thumbs up like a b plus B plus. All right, I'll, I'll give it that. That's actually pretty high praise coming from her. Um, I don't think she'd give my manual driving a B plus. Yeah, see? So this is better than my manual driving. So we're going to wrap it up there. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Probably not very quick video, but hopefully you saw FSD 12.3 doing everything that it can do outside the Atlanta, Georgia area. And hopefully you had a good time watching it. If you did, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. And if you're new to the channel, subscriptions are always welcome. And if you're looking to pick up a Tesla of your own, and I would highly recommend it based on this last drive, make sure you use a referral link. Any referral link will do. If you want to use mine, that would be great. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.